And so to recap in, in the uh, where we stopped off, the screws for this was uh, too short to put in the uh, new washers to, to clear through the plastic. And so I got new screws. However, they are too long. So we need to cut those. And uh, once we cut them, these are just a, a little bit fatter than, than the uh, hole. So I need to shave off angle one side to help start the hole. While uh, getting ready for the video, I picked this piece of plastic up that we've been looking at. And I noticed this piece is broken. So we're going to need to re-glue that. And for that, I got some Gorilla Glue. Got the vise set up. Got one screw in. So let's go ahead and turn this on and cut away. Now let's see if that works. Now we'll try to get in there and ream the hole, re-thread it. Well, looks like it was a good idea, but bad execution. Okay, so I, I couldn't get the uh, screw to self-tap in like I was hoping. So what I need to do is go ahead and ream it out and then do it. So let's give that a shot. Now, even though I just did that, um, I noted that the bit wouldn't go in all the way because it hit the plastic switch. So, let's see what happens. Well, I guess I didn't ream it out good enough. Do it again. Okay, that ain't working. I guess I'm gonna have to go get a drill bit or something. Drill bit in hand, drill bit in hand. Let's try that. This ain't going very well. As you can see, this trimmer cap just 
flew apart. That's not good. Try this again. Well, that is funny. Try that again. Okay, <clears throat> while trying to drill that out, I finally got the two pieces, two holes drilled out. Vibration caused this cover to come off of this one. And vibration caused this potentiometer, this trimmer cap right there, to fall apart. So it looks like uh, might be able to get that one put back together. I hope. If not, then we'll have to uh, buy one uh, by replacement. That is a 5K, and that's just basically a note for myself in case I have to replace that. All right, all said and done, let's see if our work was uh, worth it. Okay, I went ahead and pulled the um, trimmer cap out, and I'm in the process of uh, reassembling it. I've cleaned it up, straightened out these little tines here on this thing, and just trying to uh, get it reassembled. And I figured since I've got the soldering iron and the desoldering iron warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and replace the, uh, the resistor and the meter and then we'll work on getting the switch, screws, mountable thing all taken care of. So let's move forward with this. Not sure how much you're going to be able to see. My hands might be in the way most of the time, but let's see what happens. Now I've not assembled one of these before, so we're going to figure this out. And it appears that my hands are going to be in the way. So with that said, I think I'll probably pause the video and we'll pick it up thereafter. Or maybe not. Keep hitting my lights with my mask. My uh, clamp on bionic eyes. All right. So, you can see that we have this mounted. All we need to do is keep it mounted and then bend, and bend down those tabs. Well, that fell apart real quick, didn't it? Let's try this again. Nope. Bent that tab. I don't know how I did that, but let me show you. Look. 
I don't know if you can see that tying closest to you, but somehow I smashed it inward. There we go. Oh, just when I had it, this leg just broke. So, I'm going to have to order one of those. I'm not sure what the, uh, the range is on it. Or even how accurate it would be if I just threw a 5K resistor in there. Looks like the, the wiper went about just about halfway up it. Let me see if I can get a reading. Again, with this only being for one purpose, I'm not looking for accuracy. And I may do just that. So at about where the wiper stops on the uh, carbon trace, it looks to be around 2480. I could put a 2.5K resistor in there and see what happens. And that's probably what I will do. Got that all glued up. That glue gets all poofy. Alright, so let's see what else I could break on this thing. Right here's the resistor that we're going to cut off and replace. Again, that should be a, a 90 ohm. I don't have a 90 ohm, I have a 91. It should be just fine again. One purpose only that I have for this meter. Well, there's half of it. Here's my pack of 91 ohm and taking a quick measurement of it. I'm actually getting 89.5. So that's close enough to 90 for me.